Today uh, we will be covering QCheck, a QCheck uh, tool set which enables a powerful mosaic overview for multiple services coming from uh, multiple transfer streams. This uh, transfer stream can be in a form of MPEG-2 transfer stream or H.264. They can be standard def, they can be high def, they can be audio only, they can be subtitle, teletext, they can be clock, they can be images. Uh, not only uh, QCheck displays this every individual transport stream on the monitor, it also follows them if there is any abnormality happens and that's signaling to the end user if there is any alarm comes up. It uh, continuously monitors any issue that could come up and raise a flag. There could be uh, loss of inputs, loss of hits, which can be a loss of video, audio, subtitle, or teletext. If there's a, a freeze video, a black video, or a multiple channel audio, or if there is an audio silence level, so the audio goes up and down, you'll see that. And also it detects concurrent uh, audio uh, silences and video freezes. How it signals the end user depends on how you program it. The signal in type that the application can uh, provide crucial information and raise the flag uh, can be, of course, a visual on screen alarm and audio signaling. It provides SNMP information. It can send you an email or uh, any of them and combination, comb a combination of some of them. Uh, one of the features of uh, QCheck uh, is uh, that uh, you're able to display the content, you're able to display the multi-program, single program transfer stream, whether in HD or SD, uh, to more than a single monitor. This way you're able to actually uh, put in more content on him and be able to monitor all of them at the same time. As you see, I'm dragging the wall from a single monitor all the way to the second monitor. And this happens, it can do that without any interruption in the video operation, any interruption in the quality of video, or any interruption with, uh, with the setup that you have. So I'm going to bring it back to original, to the single monitor, and uh, see what else we cover. The QCheck application uh, consists of three parts. Uh, one is, of course, the wall that you design, that is where you place each individual program to be displayed. The second part is uh, how you define the inputs to this application. And of course, the third part is how you monitor it. And uh, on, the first, uh, on the first part, um, the application is uh, you uh, based on a wall you design. Now here, I will stop the application and then I will start up the, uh, a wall configuration. A wall configuration consists of a blank wall that you divide into many segments and each segments you apply an input to it. As you see, this is, a, this is how you set up a wall. And here we're choosing a 5 by 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 by 3 wall. And we're dividing it here by 3, 16 by 9. The rest can be standard def 4 by 3. Now, 16 by 9, normally you use it for high def, whether it's a 720 or 1080i content. And the smaller size, uh, uh, 4 by 3, you use that for standard def or any other input you desire to place up there. They could be uh, logos, they could be clock, they could be JPEG. Uh, and uh, you, dis you define every one of this segment where the input comes from and what happens 
if there is an interruption, interruption of uh, uh, input, what the application is supposed to do about it. Now that is the that's how you design the wall. On the then the second part is you actually define some inputs. The inputs you design an input based on uh, uh, it could be um, the IP streams which is coming in the system. It could be an input could be uh, files, clips, or uh, or uh, or uh, content that you have. On the hard drive, this content can be uh, H264, it could be MPEG2, it could be a high def, uh, it could be a single program, it could be multi programs. And uh, also, the inputs can be the devices, the cards, devices that you have in the system. These devices can be a DVBSI card. On a DVBSI, you can have a single input or quad input or two quad inputs, then that gives you eight um, ASI signal coming in and every ASI signal can be a single or multi-program transfer stream. Uh, you can uh, have a DVBS, a satellite, so with that you, you, you will you'll be able to download the whole transponder and be able to uh, cherry pick the programs and services that you like and place them uh, on the wall. You could have a DVB-T card in it so your terrestrial uh, RF signal can come in and uh, you'll, be, you'll be able to analyze the content and uh, display the services that you desire and monitor. And uh, of course on the IP side you could have it come in UDP um, in a unicast or multicast uh, single program multi programs. Uh, so, after you define your inputs, you assign each uh, segment of the wall to uh, hook it up to the input that uh, you, that is received, and and that's it. After that, you just start the application and uh, and sit back and, and uh, watch the uh, watch the segments. On the left side of the screen, you see some itemized. There's some of them green and some of them red. There the inputs are have been defined. There's some uh, file inputs. There's some IP inputs. And uh, if you had a uh, different cards in the system, uh, if you had ASI, it could be an ASI signal. It could be a satellite si signal. And if they are green, that means they are active. They're actually inputting the content to here to this uh, to the wall. Now looking at the wall, you see one HD here, another HD here, and a third one here. And uh, the light, um, the content up here, the art, they come in from a multi-program transfer stream. Uh, there is a JPEG here, there's a logo here. And of course, uh, since we're shooting this San Diego, there is a local time in San Diego. Uh, the next part we'll talk about uh, how you define uh, uh, the threshold. You define a threshold and create uh, an event uh, when uh, something happens. Uh, what, uh, what and how is the application supposed to react to that?